Plus Tube, Lisa here at Shady Tree Stitches, coming at you for the first of my 2023 Blossomers vlogs. It's currently the 13th of December and that is exciting because it means I finally get to open the first part of my Sooks For You Advent box. So I had to wait till day 13 to get a Blossomers vlog from me, but I wanted to do the right thing and follow the rules and not open it too early this year. So thank you for joining me. Um, I will be updating you as I go each um, couple of days on um, where we're up to in my advent box. And I'll also be popping in videos of where Jenny's up to with the Paddock Lane Designs box. Okay, so let's start with this. Beautifully wrapped, I showed you guys before. Got to find day one. All labeled, beautiful stickers. Day one, here we go. Day one is a little, just a little present. What have we got in here? Very well wrapped up with tape. So it's not gonna be easy to open quickly. Made it very secure. Use scissors, I think, to open it. Not many guys taking too long. All right, what have we got? As usual, Silks For You, we have a beautiful little bag and in it, I can see some silks. What colorway are we doing this year? Oh, pretty. So this is a lovely silk in beautiful, my colors, teals, royal blues, purples, and hot pink. Very nice, so a beautiful 10 meter skein of 12 days of Christmas silk. Well, thank you, Jo and Jamie. So that's what's in the first day of the Silks For You box. Okay, so I will insert a picture um, here of Jenny opening the last few days of my advent box. Hi everyone, Jenny again, back for day number nine. And today I have my little Christmas stockings. Yesterday I was wearing my Christmas puddings because yesterday was mum's birthday and it's a thing. I, I, I made her Christmas pudding earrings. I made them for my aunt as well. I, I, I bought a pack to, that had the fixings to make 10 pairs. So yeah, that was kind of my, my present of choice for a little while. Okay, so day nine. From the shape and the feel of it, maybe like an unpicker or something. It's, it's definitely got a lump at this end and much thinner down this end. So let's ow. See if I'm right. Oh, no, it's a laying tool. A very, oops, I'm going to take the plastic top. A very snazzy one. That that feels nice to hold. Hmm. I haven't ever really used one. I should investigate because sometimes you want your threads to all look nice and flat and they don't always. Something to play with and learn. Mm, very good. All right, that's all. Still haven't done any stitching. <laughs> been very busy. Um, and today was just too hot. Today in Sydney was 40 degrees. So just way too hot to even contemplate doing stitching. I, I don't have air conditioning. I have fans. That's it. I live in an old building. There, there is no air conditioning in our building. So, uh, yeah, too hot to stitch. And I'm not going to get any stitching done tomorrow because I have two, well, choir practice for Opera House Choir and then the other choir that I'm in, we're performing at the Martin Place Christmas Tree in the middle of Sydney tomorrow evening. So that's kind of exciting. Anyway, I will report. Yeah, I probably won't get to film until after all of that tomorrow. Um, so I will report back after all of that <laughs> if I have any voice left. All right, I'll see you then. Morning, everyone. Today is the 11th of December. Uh, as I thought yesterday, I was a little bit busy, didn't get to film between Carol concert rehearsal and Carol concert performance. And wreath making but, oh. <laughs> there is the wreath that I made yesterday so um, some Australian gum nuts paper daisies so they'll keep their color they won't fade um, and some some kind of gum leaf 
this this greenery. So yes, that was my my creative efforts from yesterday. Well, hands on creative. Then you know, singing is another form of creation, like creative outlet. Um, no stitching. And this week probably not because. I have my last night of the community choir on Tuesday and then Wednesday, Thursday are um, rehearsals at the Opera House and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday performances. Um, don't know if I mentioned before, but Nitty Nat Stitches, Natalie, is also in the choir with me. So I'm doing it with my aunt and Nat's doing it with one of her daughters. So that's really fun. Anyway, that's not why we're here. We are here for day 10 and day 11 of the Paddock Lane Designs Advent. Now, this one, I am fairly sure, is one of those um, retractable tape measures. Always useful. In fact, even though I have several, I still have to go hunting <laughs> when I want one. So now I can... Yes. Oh, That's cute. So, oh, wow. It's a loud one. <laughs> Ah, oh, you know why it sounds so loud? The other one, the other one that I use most, it's it's been crocheted over the outside to make it look like a turtle. And so I guess that deadens the sound a little bit. Anyway, very cute, always useful. I'll I'll find somewhere sensible to put that so that I'm not always looking. And this one from the size and shape, I'm wondering if it might be one of those wooden um round baubles that you can stitch on. Which would be really cool because I've done cardboard stitching on cardboard, but I haven't tried stitching on one of the wooden. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yep. Yep. It is. Oh. I wasn't expecting. Look, oh, right. there's something in one of the holes. Ouch. I'll be able to poke that out with a needle. Uh, <laughs> it just shows up against the pale back. <laughs> anyway, yes, one of those uh, little stitches. So I'm wondering if one of the other patterns, assuming that those flat packets are patterns that are coming, will be a pattern to stitch on here and maybe some more thread. Because now we have, this This is effectively the, the material and the hangy things, and we have a choice. We can go, we can go, Christmassy with the green sparkle, or we can go rustic with a piece of string. So options. We like options. Very cool. So yes, as I said, haven't tried stitching on one of these before. I know Lisa's got several patterns, not just Christmas patterns, but patterns with the the wooden um templates. So yes, that will be something new. We always like new things. All right, um, so that was 10 and 11. I'll be back tomorrow with day 12. Everyone, back again with day 12. I've decided this is going to be tree week. I have enough Christmas tree earrings that I can wear a different one every day, every day this week. So, yes, tree week. <clears throat> and so that's quite fitting because this paper has little pictures of trees. Another little tiny one. Feels hard. I think this might be one of the other shapes, the wooden shapes. We got some at the Stitching in the Mountains. Um, Lisa designed a pattern with some round wooden ornaments and little oval ones. I'm thinking that might be what this is. No. Oh, it's some of Lisa. Oops. Ah. Some of Lisa's floss cards. Paddock Lane Designs floss cards. Uh, floss drops. <laughs> you, you know what I mean. Um, yes. So these ones look to be... Oh, so floral kind of in oranges and yellows, mostly. Oh, sunflowers. Yes. Always very useful. And the teeniest, tiniest little ring. But that's good because if you're using so if you're using floss drops for a haid, you kind of want to have them in smaller bundles in your big bundle. If you know what I mean. Um, so what I'm doing with mine is well, so far I've only done the three hundreds because I started in black. Um, but I've got one sort of bundle of floss rings 
of floss drops for all of the 300 colours. Like, sorry, the colours with the starting with the number 300. Um, and then I'll have another separate bundle for the, the 200s and the 100s and the 400s and, and, and so on um, when I do all the black, which is going to take me quite some time because we know how fast I switch. Anyway, it's not a race. Um, so that's all for today. I will be back tomorrow. Now, tomorrow. It looks like a toilet roll, but it's much harder than that. It's 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 not squishy. So I I'm I'm intrigued to see what this one is. Hmm. We shall have to wait until tomorrow. <laughs> see you then. Hi everyone. Day thirteen. Unlucky for some, apparently. Oh, so these are my newest Christmas earrings. I saw someone with these last year and went, oh, that's so cool. So I had to get myself some. Very cool. Um, okay, so yes, day 13. This is the one that, yes, looks like a toilet roll, but it's not because it's, it's much more solid than a toilet roll. It doesn't rattle. I have no idea. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you can you, know, you can sort of see. There's, there's an embossed leaf on the... Container for highlighters and 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 well no I don't think the the laying tool might not quite fit in this I think that might be a bit too long but but scissors and highlighters and pens and needle threaders and it's very very pretty it's it's you can't quite you can sort of see it's got yes embossed leaf pictures and roses very pretty. And, and quite sturdy, so, you know, it will protect all of those things um, in, in, your, in your sewing box, in your, your sewing bag. Um, but, yes, a lot of, a lot of the, the, the little tools that we've been given so far will fit in here. But, yes, probably not the laying tool. But you're not going to be using that all the time. But the little fold-up scissors and the little highlighter and, and the needle, the needle um, case, they will all fit in here. Very nice. All right. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. And then I will um, be showing you what I've been stitching on, plus my stitchy mail, because I'm still obviously going to be stitching all the way through, all the way through the rest of Advent. Today is a doubly exciting day because the 13th of December is when the Whip Warriors Christmas event starts. So I have just finished stitching my tree and stitch my tree. I did 200 more stitches on Savannah. I'm working over here in the white, get the white part of her dress mapped out so then I can just start filling, filling it in. She's progressing really well and this is thanks to the semi-sane advert calendar where I've got to do 100 stitches on her a day. That $100 a day, $100, 100 stitches a day thing does really make a big difference. So there's Savannah. Since you saw Savannah, she has got yeah, 500 stitches done on her so she's progressed quite well so my tree is now up so if you are someone doing with warriors and you want someone to give presents to feel free if you want to give me any i have a tree so you can put them under um the other events in with warriors are festive meal so you got to plan a meal i'm going to save that one to later because i can like make lots of dishes i'm going to do a um the Christmas cracker first up now that my tree is up because Christmas cracker you just do a couple of events and, and then it's done and then there's the Christmas tune so you um stitch for as long as the, the tune I also have almost caught up my craft room stitch count cell so you can see I've started on the bunting across the top and it's up to date and I will be finishing this on New Year's Eve so I've just got to finish my key down the bottom. I'm not putting the optional months in. I don't want them. And there's a couple of back stitches for me to fill in. But it's it's finishing really well. And as I said last video, you can buy this pattern now complete, not as a sale, from my Paddy Lane Designs Etsy or website. And if you're interested in joining me for next year, I've got to get started on this one soon. But I've got to start working on my beautiful pink fabric. 
working on the frame for the, yeah, the threads, the beautiful cottage garden threads that I'm using for the bedroom cell. So if you're interested in stitching the bedroom cell with me, you need to get in and order your pattern and your fabrics or just your pattern, whatever makes you happy. You can stitch it on anything. I just offer a specialty dye um, to make it more interesting. Okay, so I have worked on the 302 stitches on the craft room cell since you guys saw me and that's got it to where it is. I've also done 300 stitches my dog's being silly over there on my castle homecoming you can see that i've completely finished this section now so i've just got to finish this now i'm going to work my way up the tree and then across so i'm still on track to catching this one up and that's my my stitching goals for the day so you'll see some more of that tomorrow haul i have a little bit of haul my silks for you silk of the month came in and look at these beautiful luscious chocolatey colors aren't they gorgeous and the five I love how they do the five different gradations absolutely stunning as always so my Christmas silks are in and I also got an exciting new product that I've just um, been looking for and trying to get worked out and finally found a supplier and that is thread drops so I have got some thread drops being made up um, they're they're 3d printed ones so they're acrylic they're a nice, you know, thin plastic, but very solid. And they set the Patrick Lane designs on them. So um, I will be getting them onto my, my website shortly for people to be able to order. Um, and then as I get more supplies in and more colors, that'd be really good. So very happy with that. Um, apart from that, I think everything's up to date guys. So I will leave you there. And I hope you have a great couple of days stitching and I'll be back to you in a couple of days with a couple more openings. Happy Flossmas!